Hey, what's going on guys? It's Jimmy Swift here and welcome back to another Elder Scrolls Online video. Today in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to defeat Veladreth, the final boss in Veteran Cradle of Shadows. So without further ado, let's get into it and talk about mechanics. All right, so you've made your way through Veteran Cradle of Shadows. Congratulations. And you're sitting here at the final boss of Veladreth and you're probably watching this video because you don't know what to do. So it is my goal in this video to explain to you guys the mechanics of this fight and hope that at the end of this, you guys will be able to beat it. So, um, Veladreth, she's a really nasty spider with amazing dialogue. I definitely encourage you guys to listen to her voice acting as you play through the fight, but she is one of the hardest boss fights in the game, hands down, but also it is incredibly fun and very rewarding. So this video is from the role of the tank. Um, and like I said in my previous video, you know, I'm brand new to tanking. So like, this is totally doable for someone who's a new tank. Uh, if you've been tanking for a long while, this is going to be probably you know, a little bit easier for you. Uh, obviously, my advice for tanks for this video and this fight specifically is block nearly the entire time. If you don't, she can one shot you. And I had a lot of trouble with that when I was first doing this dungeon and learned very quickly that the more I block at this during this fight, the better time I have. So before I explain mechanics, I have to say that this fight is incredibly fun, like I mentioned, and certain mechanics I can't even get mad at because they are so unique. And you'll sort of see what I mean when I explain this later. So. First stage is DPS. The minute you drop down into that arena, drop your ultimates at the very start. She has this mechanic where she sucks in one player, chosen at random, and drains their ultimate. Um, if your ultimate is like way over the cap uh, and she drains it, you'll probably still have your ultimate. But if you're sitting like right at the threshold of your ultimate and she pulls you in, you're going to lose it. So drop those ultis right at the beginning. Uh, and during this DPS phase, um, one portal will spawn. So your goal right here on the onset is to push her really hard from 100% to 65%. And we'll talk more about that in a minute. So during this DPS phase, one portal will spawn and it'll spawn one ad. You really don't need to worry about this ad. Uh, just, it, it's gonna die to your AOE. Um, so don't worry about it. Uh, after this, Venom Sacks will spawn in. These can be very dangerous as they drain your resources on impact. So these sacks come in three colors, green, blue, and red. And these are indicative of your stamina, magicka, and health. Now we noticed during this fight that a lot of times red was really rare. More often than not, we had blue and green balls spawn in. Um, on hard mode, if you're doing it on hard mode, which I'll do talk about in a later video, uh, red was spawning in a little bit more often, but typically it's gonna be blue and green. Um, so if a venom sack uh, of a specific color hits you, it will take a chunk out of that resource and will place a resource draining dot on you for about 15 seconds or so. So this is very, very dangerous. As a healer, you don't want to get the blue ones because you're going to start losing magic like crazy. If you're the tank or a stamina DPS, you don't want to hit the green ones because it's going to drain your stamina. Uh, and then overall, you don't want to hit the red ones, obviously, because it's going to drain your health. So be very, very careful here. Uh, next, after that, two portals, and this is all happening very quickly. Um, two portals will spawn, releasing two flesh at Trinox. These need to be killed fast. The tank can just taunt them and bring them into the boss and your group can AOE them down. Um, so kill these astronauts and once they're dead, uh, the astronauts will be laying on the ground and we found that it was better for both DPS to pick up the astronauts lights. Um, this is extremely important picking up these lights. Uh, if you fail to do this, the dungeon basically doubles or triples in difficulty. So as soon as those astronauts die, you need to walk over to them, their lit arm, uh, and pick up their astronaut, their, the astronaut light. So to pick up these lights, like I said, walk over to the glowing arm. Uh, and use the Atronox Light Synergy. Uh, so we, like I said, we found it was best to have our two DPS pick up the lights, but it really doesn't matter. Either way, picking these up is essential. Um, we just really had our two DPS do it because they were better at navigating the labyrinth and the healer could focus on healing when he was paired up with a guy. So, you know, it just made it a little bit easier for us. Um, also in this phase, some, somewhere during here, she will often tether two players together, much like the first fight in Veteran Fungal Grotto. You can just move away from the other person that's tethered so you break the beam. Or it's really not that hard. Um, next, you want to get Veladreth, like I said, to 65% health. You honestly want to push her from 100% to 65 uh, as fast as possible. The better your group's DPS, the easier this fight is. And that's pretty much goes without saying for every single fight in the game. Um, so if your group has really poor DPS, this is going to be very hard for you. Uh, if you don't get it to 65% fast enough, you'll likely hit a spike phase, but I'll explain that in a minute. So once you get to 65%, you will get what I call and refer to as the drop down phase. You drop into the ground and head into the labyrinth. And this happens after she says, I think we need some time apart. 
So listen for that cue when you're fighting her. So during this phase, this is the most important mechanic of the whole fight. During this phase, uh, you'll be broken up into two groups. So two of you will go to the North Labyrinth and two of you will go to the South Labyrinth. Um, if your group picked up both lights like you should have done, uh, one light carrier will be on the North Labyrinth and one will be on the South. Each person without a light will be with someone who has one. So you use this light to protect you from the shadows. In the Labyrinth, you and your partner's goal is to find the open door so you can get back to Veladress Arena. Um, so there's sort of like a little bit of a puzzle, a little bit of a maze. You got to look at your map and figure out where you are. Uh, but your goal is to find the open door. Luckily on uh, veteran normal mode, the chances of you finding your door are far greater than if you were playing on hard mode. Um, let's see. So uh, while inside the arena or uh, the labyrinth, you will need to move quickly as you will be chased by a gang of horvers. The longer you're inside the labyrinth looking for your door, the faster they move. Um, so, you know, slotting rapids down here helps, helps to, helps you get here through here faster. I personally use speed potions because I'm a DK tank and DKs don't have great mobility at all. So I use speed potions to help me move quickly and gain stamina back. So that's very, very useful. Um, if they, if the, uh, Horvers do catch up to you, uh, they will likely kill you in a swarming horrific death. So the minute they bite you, they put a snare on you and then that allows you to slow down and all of them catch up and kill you. It's really, really awful. Uh, <laughs> so stay ahead of that that um, gang of horvers, and if you have to double back, just make sure you avoid them. Um, there are also Nightblade enemies in the Labyrinth that will ambush strike you and stun you, but you can just pop out of that, just, um, you know, CC break out of that stun, and if they're standing in your light, you can just kill them really easily, so uh, kill them while you're moving and finding your door. A little tip real quick that I do want to mention, if you do get, get uh, have to encounter a horver, the Horvers, you can roll dodge through them, uh, but just be careful. I, we, our group says no to the Horvers, so we just try and avoid them if at all possible. So I wouldn't recommend um, intentionally encountering them or trying to double back and going through them. It's a horrible, horrible, horrible idea. Uh, so on your way to your your door, uh, after you've you know been encountering these Nightblades and uh, avoiding the Horvers, uh, on the way to your door, you will encounter traps. But if you have the light, the bad traps will be red, so avoid the red traps. And if you, uh, because if you hit them, they will snare you and they will drain your stamina. Once you make your way back to the boss, uh, hopefully uh, both groups are, you know, getting back to the boss at roughly the same time. Uh, you'll need to drop down back into the arena to re-engage Veladreth. And then this stage is identical to the one before. Just push her as quickly as you can to 30% health. So, for instance, if your group lacks DPS and is too slow in pushing her from 100% to 65%, or from 65% to 30%, you will likely get the spike phase. And this is honestly what kills most groups. Uh, you'll know you're entering the spike phase when you hear the boss say, don't move a muscle, and she'll climb up into the rafters. At this point, nobody move. This is super essential. Stand freaking still, okay? Don't move at all. You can heal, you can buff up, you can regen, etc. but do not move left, right, front, or back. If you do, you'll get nearly one shot by a spike that's going to pop out of the ground right where you are, and it will put an insane heal debuff on you. It's going to really mess up your day, like severely. And this is honestly, I think, the part that most groups have trouble with. So listen to my tips, and I will get you through this. Uh, the trick here is to wait. Wait until the room changes from purple back to normal, and then the moment you see the earth beneath your feet begin to crack, roll dodge. It's a nerve-wracking phase, but it's very simple. So to recap, as soon as she goes upstairs, Stop moving. Stand still, be patient, and look at your feet. That's literally what I do. The minute she climbs up there, I orient my camera so that I'm just staring directly at my feet. And I just wait. I just wait and wait and wait until the moment I see the earth start to crack. And the moment I hear that rumble and the earth is cracking, I roll dodge. Uh, if you don't do this, what's going to happen is, like I said, if you're moving around, she'll hit you with the first spike that's going to just destroy your health. It'll drop it to, if it doesn't one-shot you, it'll definitely drop it to like 2 5%, somewhere around there. Uh, and then the second spike that comes, if you don't roll dodge in time, will kill you. It will 100% kill you. That is a absolute one shot, is the second spike. So roll dodging the moment you see that earth cracking below your feet it will keep you alive. And I believe in our video clear here, we actually executed this perfectly. So you guys can see how it's done. Uh, and the last little mechanic you'll need to know about is if you ever need, a, uh, need to res someone, and this is like where I can't even get mad because this is such an awesome mechanic. It is so unique to this game. I just think it's really, really cool. But if you ever have to res someone in your group, say somebody dies during the fight, 
The boss has a mechanic where she says something like, because she's hungry, she's starving, she's fat, she wants to eat you. And so her whole personality is about how she wants to eat you. And if you try and rest somebody, she has a mechanic where she says something like, no, leave that one for me, it's mine. And she interrupts the person that's resing the dead. Now, the interesting part about this we found is that you can actually interrupt Veladreth from interrupting you. So if the tank is alive and they're on the boss and in, in, in her face and you can see those red lines start to fly out of her as she's about to get ready to interrupt someone who's resing them, you can actually bash her and interrupt her. Uh, the only other thing though that you have to worry about is sometimes the ads around the arena will hit you with stuns and knockbacks as you're trying to res somebody. So it's really honestly best, your best bet during this fight is to just not die. Follow these mechanics that I've laid out for you. All four party members need to do this and you won't die. Like, we found that it's actually easier for to, to just no death this fight than it is to have somebody die and try and res them. It's, it sounds backwards because that's usually not how most of the fights in this game work, but I can't even be mad when they gave this boss so much personality that she's willing to interrupt the resurrection so she can basically feed on your dead body. I think that's really, really cool and really unique. Um, so guys, basically that's it. You push her, you push the boss from 100% to 65%. You pick up the lights, you go to the drop down phase, you find your door, you get back to the boss, you push her to 30%, you drop down, you find your door, you get back to the boss and you kill her. Two drop down phases is all it takes. That's all it takes. Like, the minute our group gets through the second drop down phase, we know that she's dead. We do, because all I have to do is sit there and tank her, and they just get to hammer on her with DPS until she dies. And we avoid the balls again, but you hammer on her until she dies. A uh, hard mode is quite a bit more difficult, but I will save that for another video. So guys, I'm going to roll the footage now of us clearing this with no death. Um, if you have any questions, please be sure to leave them in the comments below. But sit back, relax, enjoy the video, and I hope you guys learned a lot. Peace. Um, we got this. This is easy mode. You guys ready? Yep. Let's go. Warhorn's up. Alright, uh, we got green balls are out. Be careful. Uh, shards. Uh, Astronaut. Oh boy, I'm ready to shard three times. I, uh, I repent, repent, repent these bodies. Quick, 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 quick. Go. Alright, we're going down. Alright, it's on you. Oh fuck, am I missing one? Oh, did I get it? Did I get it? Uh oh. Oh shit. Alright, just use braziers. We can do this. Who am I with? Is that Odeski? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. You're gonna have to use braziers. We found our door. Holy fuck. We should find our door pretty quick. Shit. Hopefully. Where are we going? Uh, we're gonna be taking a left up here. Okay. Fuck, come there? on, man. We found our door. Good job. We're at the we're at the uh the ledge, so we'll just wait until we see Horvers. We gotta go. We gotta go. Yep, yep, yep. All right, there's a Horver coming. We can kill him in the light, though. We can kill him in the light. All right, they're coming. We gotta drop. We gotta drop. Okay, we're almost there. Maybe I should shed some wood. Here, there, there, there we go. Right, watch your green balls. Come on, guys. We need you. We need you. We're here. We're here. We're here. Good job. There's green balls out, so be careful when you drop. Shot on the boss. Push it hard to thirty. Heels, 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 heels. Thank you. Heels, heels. Your All right, guys, get these astros down. Right, pick up these lights. I got pulled on by boss. Can't heal for a second. All right, stop moving, stop moving, stop moving, stop moving. Shoot. I'm popping more horn. We're tethered. So just hold still. Keep healing. Keep healing. You ready? Roll, roll, roll. Good job. Oh, 
Get it to 30, get it to 30. Alright, done you, tank. Thank you. You got the lights, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. I need a shard. Watch the blue balls. We're going down. Don't get hit. Good job, guys. Clear run through here. We got this. That's good, Dunon. Shard in front. If Thanks. Yeah. How? Right Take a right. I have the light <laughs> and I still got hit by a trap. Watch this one be no fucking door, I swear to god. Come on guys, focus, focus. Okay, we did. We got a door. Okay, we're going back this way. Oh, uh, is this not? Yeah, open? that one's closed. Kill this guy, Gino. Oh, right. we have to go through the fucking trap. What the fuck is this shit? <laughs> oh, I didn't get hit. Horvers, horvers. I got hit. Yeah, 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 just go, just go. Come on, we gotta oh, go, we shit. gotta go. Come on, guys. We can do this. It's this one right here. Go through it. Alright, we gotta yep. go, dude. Just go, just coming. go. Yeah. Drop down. Come on. I'm all in, I'm all in. Let's slow him down. Let's go. Drop in, drop in. We're in, we're in. Hey, we're yeah, here. Yeah, okay. We're here. Alright, guys. Come on, finish her. Guards on you. Watch the, watch the blue orb. Watch the blue orb. This red now. I mean, um, green. green. Careful, careful. Push her hard, guys. I don't want to get a spike phase, let's go. Heavy heals, heavy heals, heavy heals. 12%. Heals, 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 heals. 5%, come on guys. Ulting. So yeah, that's it guys. Uh, I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please be sure to leave a like on it. Um, just a quick side note, today on Monday, August 8th, uh, there is a patch coming out and it looks like they've changed a few very minor things to Cradle of Shadows Thus resulting in this dungeon being nerfed, which I'm kind of unhappy about one of which being the Astronaut light synergy will now persist if your character dies Previously if you picked up the Astronaut's light and you died and then you got resurrected you no longer have the light I think that that was I think that that was awesome because it punished your group for dying now, apparently, if you die, but you had the light and you get resurrected, you come back, you'll still have it. So, you know, this dungeon got nerfed a little bit. There's a few other changes, but um, by and large, this guide video uh, should help all of you guys that are, you know, maybe struggling to complete this. So, uh, yeah, thank you so much for watching. I will be uploading our speed run of this dungeon and our full no death run soon. Um, and then I'll do a hard mode as well. And then we'll move on to Ruins of Mazatun. Uh, but yeah, subscribe for more videos and I'll talk to you guys later. Peace. Tune in! Divines! Light! I'll take it! It's a, it's a, it's a, it's a very tanky set, but I will take the light shoulder divines. That is a sick trait right now.